Okay guys, um, painting outside with the Rust-Oleum colored chrome. So uh, doing a little field trip today. We're going to go outside and we're going to paint this thing in a little box that I made. Um, so hopefully we can do that. It's hovering around 50 degrees, which is the minimum temperature for this to be used, but it's windy. So uh, let's give it a go and uh, see how how it turns out. As I've said, this stuff stinks to high heaven if you've ever sprayed it. And uh, so I need to spray it outside or it's going to cause problems with my wife and kids. So let's go. All right, don't judge my don't judge my mess here. So I've got electrical cable here. And here's my setup. The light gives us some heat. And so I've got it going into the into the box there on the side. Um, you can see got like a little uh, cover around that that hole there so I don't spray the light when I'm painting inside the box I put that wood on the top because it's windy I don't want the box to blow away so uh, let's give it a try see how this turns out So the light obviously provides heat. And light, so it's nice. Not bad. I'm not. I'm getting some spots on the roof. It's not covering. Let's uh, let's take it inside and see what we got. Definitely going to need to do a second coat once this dries. You can see how this how this looks here, right on the roof there. Little unevenness. Ah, uh, I'll leave my boot. My muddy shoes on because I want to bring the box in. Show you guys the box. But yeah, 
can see here Wow, that really stinks. Brought it inside, it so still stinks. So, you can tell right there, right there it's not covering very well. So I'll let this dry, I'll put some coats of clear sealer on it, two coats, and then I'll go back and I'll put another coat of the blue chrome as the final coat. And I think we'll will be in better shape there. So, all in all, not too bad. I don't have any splitting or pitting or anything like that. It's a little uneven, but again, it's just the first coat, so I should be okay um, uh, for that. So, let me show you the box, okay? A little bit closer up view of the box. Yeah, today's, looking at the forecast, today's supposed to be kind of the last day. You can see where I painted before. <laughs> Got a little blue on my step step there. But, so, just cut up this box. Cut a hole in the side there. Ooh, you can see, you can see my box is a little discolored from the heat of the lamp already. I gotta be careful there. Um, but yeah, wanted a place where I can get some light and heat coming in the side and, and not, of course, get any spray on the, on the light itself. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy so far. Again, as you can see, it's the first time I used it and uh, turned out pretty well, so. Um, pretty happy with that um, yeah so got my extension cord and my light <laughs> could see what happened to my extension cord I had to splice it because I cut it when I was using it for um, some hedge trimmers that I have some electric hedge trimmers and I just happened to get the hedge trimmers into the into the electric <laughs> electrical extension cord and cut it right off so uh, splice that um, and uh, yeah so um, got this I don't know I think this was a Home Depot light that I bought uh, just high intensity light and uh, works good a lot of light a lot of heat so uh, it's perfect for this type of setup but Alright guys, that's all I really wanted to show you today. Uh, a little field trip outside in the back of my house and, and uh, my new little outdoor painting box. Uh, hopefully I can do this and continue to paint that colored chrome paint even through the winter months. So, alright guys, let me know what you think. Take care.